in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And that is caught. It's Witten for the Cowboy touchdown. Jason Witten, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. And he's such a talented tight end, just creates nightmarish type matchups on the other side. He's so good that when we say tight end, we're almost damning him with faint praise, aren't we? Because he can do it all. He's as good as any receiver in the NFL. Well, that's the deal. He's a wide receiver, just in a bigger body. Bigger body, a matchup nightmare, and who's going to cover it? When I sit in the film session, I just look at the coach and say, really? Really? You're going to yell at me? You can cover him. And it is good, and his guys have taken the lead in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for that. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Sean Lee. Tough to handle on that blitz. He gets him for a loss of five. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And it gives this time to the tailback. And a nice spin into some open field. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. That good for 19 at a first down. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own. But oftentimes, blitz coming, and down he goes. Jalen Smith in there to record another sack. Their sixth of the afternoon. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. the 30 to the 32. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. From the gun, it's Brady. Going up top. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to, you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle <laughs> yourselves. I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. 
Here's Ryan Allen now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. 34 yards there and a first down. The best passing attacks in the NFL often incorporate the guys out of the backfield catching the football. And that's what we just got on that play. As a primary receiver, not always just a check down, not always a safety valve. Sometimes they just get it to them right away because they have the matchup advantage. This stage in the game, every play is magnified here as we get down to the nitty gritty. On first and ten, Prescott escaping the pressure right. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Time for a break. We're back to perhaps crown a champion after this. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Prescott now on second down. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. A big play here will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Prescott. He's going to air one out. This is caught inside the 15. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Des Bryant, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? It's been a great game, and we are not done yet. Now Bailey to tack on the extra point. It's up and good, and they jump back ahead, 35-28. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes Tom Brady and the Patriot offense back onto the field. This is something we've seen many times over the course of his career. Can he pull off another fourth quarter comeback? And it's very strange, isn't it? Because when it's a player of this magnitude, even though the guys on defense have the lead and are sitting in the best spot, they're maybe the most nervous people in the stadium because they've seen this happen to too many people before, too many teams. They've got to find a way to shut him down. Here we go again for the Grizzly vet. Back to throw. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. 
Trying to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. He'll look to throw. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Brady connecting with Cooks for the Patriot first down. He's back to throw. And right side caught Hogan. 12 more yards there and another first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Well, look to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Back to throw. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. James White with time running out. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. The receivers have been running them ragged. Maybe some tired legs in the secondary. Maybe some tired legs in the pass rush. Didn't get to it. And look what resulted. A touchdown. Tie game. They've got a chance to take the lead. Still down one. Here's an utterly critical extra point attempt here. And it is good. There were about 70,000 people about to turn blue from holding their breaths. But it's good, and this Super Bowl is tied. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it ends with a New England touchdown. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Now Prescott. Out to his left. Going deep here for Bryant. And this will be caught at the 30. And he's in for the touchdown. Seconds, forget overtime. They just likely won this thing in regulation. And that score in this time frame, that's like a big reveal at the end of a great movie, isn't it? <laughs> Out of nowhere almost it appears. They get it done. How about that score? The finishes like this, this is why we love sports. This is why we love the game of football. So glad that we got to be here to watch this one. Bailey now for the extra point. And it would appear they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. And they're able to get the connection on the long touchdown pass. And that's one of the easiest drive summaries you'll ever see. One play, touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25.
Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Encroachment, the defense. So a jump there Still defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. One final try now for Brady. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. And the Dallas Cowboys will hoist the Lombardi Trophy. They are the kings of the NFL. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That The task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever. And they are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.